Talk to him and fix it. Since this man is no longer working for us anymore, he needs to return the money. It's that simple. Okay, fine. Let me know. I'll be waiting for your call. What did he say? Well, he complained a little bit, but he talked to him. Isn't Martin the one who found this guy? Let him fix it, like you said. Good. Heard anything from the police? Well, I was going to go to the station, but you showed up to the house. Good. Let's go together, then. <sighs> You're angry with my dad. Hush, hush. Don't ever mention your father to me again, Kenny. Damn that man. I won't forgive that horrible man who's supposed to be your father and set an example to you. Listen carefully. If, if he calls your cell phone, you will not answer. If he comes here, you will not let him into this house. Do you hear me? He has embarrassed me. May he never find happiness again. How will I ever be able to look at these people in the face again? Come in. Captain, the woman is here. Is she doing better? They gave her medicine, I think. She seems better. That's good. Take her to the interrogation room. I see you're feeling better. Do you need anything? No, thanks. How about water? No, thanks. I'm sorry we had to bring you over from the hospital the way we did, but we're running out of time. That's why I'll go straight to the point. Tell us everything you've seen, everything you know about these men. Look, I spoke to my friend from immigration, and you're clean. You were given a one-month tourist visa. You want to go back home, right? Look, Dora, two people's lives depend on you helping us. So I would advise you not to hide anything from us because you're scared of what they'll do, or you'll be as guilty as those men in the eyes of the law. And if you're found guilty, you'll never see your home country again. Say you went and shot that guy. What then? What would happen if you got caught? Besides, what if the man just doesn't die? A gun holds no guarantees. If God doesn't want it, he won't die. I had a friend named Ebo. He was shot so many times. To this day, he's still alive and kicking. You're right. The gun holds no guarantees. If that were the case, that dog Nuri would be dead long ago. Right. You really have to think it through. Nothing holds a guarantee, friend. This has to be done in the cleanest way possible. We have to find a way to do this that won't jeopardize you. I'm going to do it. You're going to do what? How will you do it? Just leave that to me. Ethan. But you made a promise. That's true. I did make a promise. But sometimes there are times that call for you to go back on your promises. I owe you a debt. I'll be paying that debt today. Ethan, hang on. Please let me go with you. Let me come along. You never know something may go wrong. Don't worry. I'm not that old yet, man. You know that's not what I meant, Ethan. Sit down and calm yourself down. Besides, it's better for us not to be seen in public together. 
You wait here with Robert. How many of them were there? Four. One of them was an old man. That's him. That's the man. And the others? One of them was the boss. Young. The others were young too, but the main boss is very strict. The others were scared of him. What was his name? His name is Aldo. They called him Aldo. And his real name? What? That's his real name. I'm not lying to you, I'm sir. I'm not saying you're lying. I'm simply saying that Aldo is a nickname, and that's not a real name. <laughs> and the other two, what were their names? I... I really don't know. They never told me. We'll be back every day to look after you. My brother can't find you here. You want to talk? I want to, to thank you both so much. You're very good men because you could have killed me. I will always be thankful to both of you. So, how did you end up involved with these men? from the beginning. Don't be scared, all right? Well, I knew Nuri. I was staying with him at the time. Dr. Nuri? How did the two of you meet? We met here uh, not long ago. Nuri was very helpful, and I was staying with him. My money ran out, and I was receiving some money from back home. But aren't you a nurse? Tell me the truth. You were working with him, right? No, I, I wasn't working with him at all. I, I'm a tourist. I only work okay, back home. Okay, okay. I will believe you with one condition. Tell me everything. I need to know the truth. But I'm telling the whole truth. Promise. Go on. So, Dr. Nuri knew who those men were. I don't know how he knew them. Nuri did something bad. Then Nuri left and the men came and they kidnapped me. They took me to a house. There was a wounded man. Uh, and then they told me to save him. And how did those men know you're a nurse? I don't know. I guess Nuri might have told them. I really don't know. Okay, continue please. So then the man got better. They took me there to where you found me. They left me there to die. And I would have died for sure if it weren't for you. Mm. 